First of all, thank you that we can come together in the European Parliament. Mr. Stevenson, Vice President, and all those of the European Parliament listening to us, to those who will support the really suffering people within Iran and within Camp Liberty, formerly also Camp Ashraf. And my reason to be here is we have to stop the silence going on in our own countries, within the EU, with US and UN. And let me say, there is a risk to sacrifice human rights for the Geneva Agreement. It's already said, and there's a big risk, because in these days, and especially today and tomorrow, we risk to have the hostages, six women and one man, delivered to Iran. And we have to be really like a warning group Let's stand up and reach the public. And let me say at this moment, let's support Madame Rajavi and her group. Thank you very much that she is with us here in the European Parliament because we have a lot of proofs in which way she is fighting for peace, for human rights, and even the negotiations with the hunger-striking people in order to have a rescue, and on the other side, this deep conflict of hunger-striking people that's our last instrument we can use in order to save others. And let me tell you, yes, we have to criticize Mrs. Ashton and others. And sometimes parliamentarians are very necessary and we can't renounce on them really to ch work for changes. This attack, this massacre of first of September was not the first one. There was a lot of attacks, smaller attacks, going before this massacre. And it's quite clear, don't believe the deny that it was not the Iraqi system. It was organized, very well organized. We don't know these texts. There is no safety at all. Nothing happened. No investigation to give us clear answers. But I will tell you, we are in a process of getting stronger. What happened in Congress and Senate when Maliki visited the U.S., they asked all the time, what is going on in liberty? And Maliki was angry and furious about this. So, and we have to have the same reactions in European Parliament and in our national parliament. And it's really the moment to show by this example we don't give up. We don't follow this propaganda. And we convince our citizens and our governments and our colleagues in Parliament that we can go another way. But those who live in liberty are the strongest one. Believe me. They suffer but much more than we. <laughs> a 
And whenever they can follow meetings in one country or the other, where they see we are not forgotten, we are not alone, that is encouraging them, women as well as men. And this is a struggle for all of us. But once more, don't give up and no fear. No fear is bigger than the opposition, the dissidents, can be stronger than the governing regimes. So I ask you, help us to have this public voice that we need to get forward. Thank you very much for listening.